Good morning, this is Greg. My call sign is N4KGL. This is August 21st, the day 2017, uh, Eclipse Day. I'm at uh, uh, Kinsaw Park in Lynn Haven, Florida. Um, it's Grid Square Echo Mike 70 Echo Golf. And uh, we're going to set up a station to do the uh, uh, e <coughs> Solar Eclipse QSO party. And uh, this is uh, a park that has a nice field, uh, which we'll take advantage of. And uh, we have uh, started laying out our, uh, our <coughs> uh, loop antenna. And uh, it's the one that I use for field day. Going to set it up uh, uh, parallel uh, with, uh, or really at right angles to north and south, uh, best I can figure. So uh, hopefully all the piece parts will come together and we'll be able to uh, participate in the QSO party. I'd like to mention that the uh, purpose of the Solar Eclipse QSO party is to provide scientists who study the ionosphere uh, lots of data to analyze during the eclipse period. Uh, there are uh, monitoring stations that record the activity on the air and the data goes into databases that can be used uh, to analyze and compare to their models. Um, also, uh, we'll be keeping a log of who we can reach and uh, uh, turn that log into the organizers of the QSO party. Uh, if I have time, I'll be setting up additional antennas with uh, beacons for weak signal propagation reporter, Whisper, uh, out in the field here and that data is received by stations, uh, the stations it can reach uh, around the world, recorded, and that data will be available uh, also. So, <laughs> don't know uh, all to expect. Uh, as far as uh, RF propagation, um, it, it's uh, somewhat uncharted territory for me, but uh, chances are, uh, as we go through it, 40 meters will get better and 20 meters will get worse. Just my guess. Well, <coughs> we'll see what will actually happen. I got the three supports for the antenna set up and I'm going to uh, uh, raise it now. All right, we cycle uh, <laughs> among the three poles and just uh, push them up and the uh, uh, there is uh, attachments to the uh, top and uh, eventually we get the entire loop deployed. It's, it's rather easy to do. All right, the uh, loop antenna is deployed. It's uh, 30 feet horizontal, uh, 20 feet vertical, and the lower wire is uh, 10 feet off the ground. Uh, it is, uh, has a 300 ohm line to an AH4 tuner, and uh, uh, it, it is physically impressive. <laughs> it, I, I think it's a work of art. So, uh, but uh, we'll see how it does on the airwaves. All right, uh, continuing our setup here, we've got the uh, ICOM 7100 and our Go Box with a Bio NO 40 amp hour battery. Uh, this is the control head for the uh, 7100. Uh, we've got a laptop computer and we're using uh, N1MM Plus, uh, the Eclipse uh, version. And uh, 
so uh, it's it's like a contest operating so <clears throat> uh, yet to do is to set up the uh, uh, beacons uh, with the Bravo 7k vertical so I'll go do that now all right I have uh, the Bravo 7k verticals uh, set up uh, spread out here in the field and uh, the uh, whisper beacon is here on the ground uh, we're going on uh, 20 meters and hopefully our beacons are are running we'll be checking that in a few minutes but um, like I said this will support the uh, solar eclipse experiment I'm also comparing a couple I have two of these verticals out here so I'm interested if their spots will be similar uh, in that I'm hoping the antennas are identical and the beacon so they should be similar spots this is the other Bravo 7k uh, with a uh, uh, also set up for 20 meters uh, with a whisper beacon uh, the beacons are whisper light they are just the things for this kind of uh, experiment and they are uh, transmit only but they can be received by whisper stations around the world all right well i'm not going to get into <coughs> all eight hours of this qso party but maybe i'll get the uh four in the middle and that would be great i heard uh, a whisper beacon on uh, my receiver i think i'll stick with 20 meters for now that way I have two beacons plus my own uh, signal. Uh, I'll be focusing on CW, which should be uh, picked up by the uh, reverse beacon network. And I've got a lot of the uh, messages in the keyer uh, set up. And um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, and um, I think I'll take a water break and we'll... Uh, uh, all right well uh, we are at the maximum uh, or just past the maximum uh, we've got all kinds of dragonflies out here at one point there were three or four uh, uh, small birds on uh, the Bravo 7k so I guess uh, the <laughs> Maybe it's feeding time for the birds. So, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure to get in the GoPro here, but uh, uh, the temperature is also cooled off. So, uh, kind of a pleasant time. All right. Uh, uh, we have been operating the solar uh, eclipse QSO party. And uh, we have... Uh, 18 contacts uh, 3 on 20 meters CW and 15 on 40 meters CW um, We've been uh, uh, calling CQ uh, Sort of on the high end of uh, well like 7.048 and thereabouts so <clears throat> We weren't setting any uh, records for contacts, but uh, we generated lots of uh, spots on RBN. Uh, my wife joined me uh, in time to uh, see the eclipse here. It was about 85% uh, here in L Landhaven, Florida. And we've had the two whisper beacons uh, generating spots on uh, 20 meters. So we'll be wrapping it up soon. Uh, uh, things did uh, cool off a bit during the eclipse and we had lots of dragonflies and birds and in including birds on our uh, vertical antenna the radials uh, they enjoyed that a lot so <clears throat> we'll uh, do the post analysis and do a blog post on this it's been lots of fun so 73 from uh, Lynn Haven Florida uh, this is N4KGF.